We're outside of Vets and um, yeah, I went for a little walk this morning. Coop sniffed up, literally two minutes out of the van. Didn't stop sneezing for about five minutes and then started sneezing blood and his face is all swelling up. So um, yeah, we're at a Vets at the moment. Hello and welcome back. Welcome back to our channel. Yes. Apparently it's a channel, don't you know? It is a channel. We've got clarification on that from last week. <laughs> it's not a page. Nope. No. What's <laughs> you like? Um, as you've probably just seen, we've spent quite some time today. Um, I would say in excess of seven or eight failed bar cups. Yeah. For various reasons, either um, very, very, very on the wonk. Um, busy road, people passing within millimetres away from you, or giving you dirty looks as they walk past, because obviously we are the scum of the earth. Yeah, I'll tell you something, it's kind of been one, one of those kind of days, hasn't it, where mm. it's been, we're not, we were absolutely out of everybody's way, but everybody that walked past was, was doing it, and I'm like, okay, I'm going to put my positive, positive poly hat on, and make sure that I'm not thinking it's going to be bad, but yeah, they're still doing it, so yeah. Well, me and Coopy are off for a little bit of a last minute walk and this is where I get to walk it's very beautiful but this is lush around here it's wonderful so it's a different little bit all I can hear a different birds um tweeting and twirling and they can see buzzards around and Cooper's doing his usual thing and lagging behind come on pal good boy but we've been hearing uh kite hawks in the distance I've seen a dunnock, I've seen a load of robins, I can hear pheasants in the fields. It's absolutely beautiful and really, really peaceful. So yeah, we've been trying to go for park up park ups like we've done for years and never really bothered or anything like that. Obviously we spent a lot of time in pubs lately and on campsites uh, too. Yeah, pubs pubs and their car parks. Let's just not say that we've been spending time just in pubs. Just in pubs, no. Yeah. Spending the night in the lovely pub owners that allow yes. us to stay there. <laughs> <laughs> um but yeah, campsites, airs, all that kind of stuff. So we've been spreading our money quite evenly with everyone so we thought you know we'd just try a couple of uh, just normal park ups so we're in a specific area um, for an appointment so it's not anything we can really choose where we're going to and that's what we normally do is we choose 
where we're going based on the the park ups we found, don't we? Yeah, it's just like there's a good park up. What's round there? Yeah. That's perfect. Rather than right, well, this we is need here. to be there. <laughs> yeah, what have we got? So it's just been one of those days, um, probably in excess of four hours driving around. Some of the roads we've maybe been up and down twice, maybe more. Yeah, because you just go past and you're like, oh, yeah, I've been there. Ooh, okay. Oh, strange. <laughs> uh, one of the best ones was I was coming down at this tiny, tiny, tiny road and thinking, geez, we are not going to fit here. Then looked in the mirrors. And there's a the bin, bin truck, truck. <laughs> like trying to push me out of his way. Like, hello, move already. <laughs> <laughs> so, anyway, to our rescue is the bull at Brantham. Yes. Um, and hopefully, we're going to try and talk him into doing a um, little camper spot. Yeah, we had a good old chat with Paul, the owner. It's Paul and Gemma, um, and they seem absolutely bloody lovely. And they've been thinking for a while now about getting sort of a air uh, or some bits. So, I'm going to, yeah. I've told him, I am going to give him all the information for camper because it's all there for him and he'll be able to do something because they've got a perfect piece of grass yep. with some beautiful views they've got yep. a toilet outside but that's it but that's it and air with a toilet and air with oh a toilet goodness. that'd be fantastic um possibly even a tap to get some fresh water yeah somewhere to empty your loo flipping out that'd be yep. nice. and he did say he was thinking of if we, if he was going to do it maybe having hookups as well so a little actual little campsite you can have here as well yep cool. so uh so i'm going to give him all the information we're going to go in in a little bit and uh give him booked all the bits and bats that he need yeah, i have booked a table and there's pizza night thursday night pizza night pizza um, so yeah, so they're absolutely lovely. So hopefully, if we can help them and help us and help everybody all at the same time get a little air here, that would be fantastic. Because mm, otherwise, in this area, there are lots of campsites, and um, pretty much what was five, six that we found up today have been fully booked. Yep, all full. Anyway, good to pub. Aye. See what the food's like. Well, <laughs> apart from the gammon I cooked myself a few months ago. This is the first gammon I've had out in a pub anyway. But it's the first gammon I've had this year. What's it yours? Looks amazing. Look at the crispy. Look, I'm going to touch your food now. Look <gasps> at your crispy. How oh, dare you. Okay. What's yours? Mine is veggie lasagna and I get garlic bread and salad and fries. However, it's butternut squash, asparagus and goat's cheese lasagna, which is like all my favourite things. Ooh. And I've got this for goopy. Oh, Coopy gets a sausage. Coopy gets a sausage. Hi, you have to get down. Thank you. Come on, my mile up, yeah. There we go. Oh. Get it. Good oh. boy. Oh, this gamma is so nice. Mm. How's your lasagna? Oh, it's wonderful. I'm sorry, I've just had a drink, so I've got all the bubbles going up everywhere. <laughs> um, no, it's really tasty. And the cheese is dead crispy on the top and everything. How is your sausage, Cooper? Is it okay? What sausage one? Mm -hmm. stay, stay there. Stay there, buddy. Oh, he's a beautiful baby. I know they're in the bag, buddy. I do. <laughs> that little in there. Yeah, it's in there. It's in the bag. Just there. It is. Let me finish and then you can have something else, okay? Comments down below. Doesn't Mandy look gorgeous today? Oh, you big softy. Hey. Uh, a bit of an update, folks. Uh, we're outside of Vets. And, um, yeah, went for a little walk this morning. Coop sniffed up. Literally two minutes out of the van. Didn't stop sneezing for about five minutes and then started sneezing blood and his face is all swelling up. So, um, yeah, we're at a vet's at the moment. Uh, I've just dropped him off because they've got to do blood tests. And... Yeah, I was sat in there and they managed to fit us in quite quickly, which was good. We literally just drove straight here, um, which is about half an hour from where we were. And um, he literally has just been spraying blood out of his nose, stop, non-stop sneezing all over that vet's. Mm vet surgery the waiting area and, and, and everything so um they think he might have something stuck up his nose or that he's been stung up there or something i don't know yeah so he's got to have some blood tests to make sure he's going to be okay being sedated um and then they're going to have to knock him out and um uh check and see if they can see anything that's up his nose uh, they've checked in his mouth and can't see anything there mm. and there's no damage to this top palate apparently 
and he was a very good boy when you let them do all of that and then yeah. stick a thermometer up his bottom oh so didn't flinch at all bless him but it's like weird just i don't know i just think it's weird that they go okay give us your dog yeah see him in a bit yeah i have two pieces of paper and i'm like oh right okay can but i is he gonna be all right in there can i see where he's gonna be kept and then yeah. he went oh he's just he's just he's just in the back it's okay it's fine but no no one else is there's big private signs no unauthorized personnel yeah, yeah. in the back and stuff and that's that so so we've got to wait now well not wait as such but what is it about three and a half hours well, they close in three and a half hours, so they said they will have him back in three and a half hours. But the vet, uh, the surgeon guy, has got to have his lunch, mm. um, because we've not been the only emergency in today. It appears so. The poor fella should have had his lunch at twelve, but he's not eating yet. So, right. um, so yeah, um, I'm fine for a, a not hungry surgeon to be performing yeah. anything on coop. <laughs> That's good. Um, but yeah. Yeah, and at least um, at least we know that the lady on the beach recommends this. Apparently, it's like ours at home, okay. where they have a rotating vets and they go to different practices. Oh, right, okay. So the one during the week will be where we were, where that lady said that she recommended them. Yeah, so we were on the beach when this happened, just near where we'd been parked up. Uh, nothing special park up. We'd not been filming. We thought we'd have a day off. The weather's been absolutely dire, so mm. we can't really film anything. Um, so yeah, didn't really take the details or anything out. But there was a lady there with three dogs. And she recommended this vet, which is about forty minute drive away. But she she went to the one that was more local to yeah, where we were. But this is the only one but, that did an emergency. But yeah, they're, they're, yeah. this is the only one that's open on a Saturday. So, so yeah, <sighs> poor fella. Yeah, I just feel like it's bad that we just he doesn't know doesn't know where we've gone. No, <laughs> he was just like, hang on a minute. I was I could see the dog I could see the dog friendly beach where yeah. and then all of a sudden I'm at and the you, vets. You dragged me away. What the hell? Yeah. He didn't look pleased when I dropped him off. No. Oh, when I should say he didn't. He didn't look pleased when I had to walk out of the door, and I just had to go because I was going to start bawling if I'd have stood there any longer. Aye. So hopefully, in three and a half hours, we'll get a slightly boozy coopy, mm. but hopefully not a sneezy one. We'll sort it out. Yeah. Watch this space. Yeah. So, he's back. He's looking a bit drowsy. Oh, tail's wagging now. Tail's wagging. Likes being on screen now. Okay. Um, it did wait a bit since letting him in because um, it wasn't pleasant viewing. No. He was proper out of it and everything. I don't want to... I'll put a picture on now so you can see. But that's what the, the vets took out of his nose, bless him. All that was inside his nose. So it's no wonder he was. Uh, and here's my what's that? my hand for comparison. Yeah. So yeah. <sighs> Bless, Bless him. him. He does feel better. He is obviously still drowsy. Yeah, he's not sneezed. So. The vet said he might sneeze a couple of times, or he might sneeze for the next twenty-four hours. But, but it's been okay, hasn't yeah, he? Yeah. She said that came out very cleanly in one go. Um, but yeah, it was the talk of the practice. Yeah. Everybody must have been seven people in there saying, Did you see what she pulled out? So But we've just had a little walk with him and um it's very slow paced walk. Trying to give him his tea, doesn't seem to be interested in that. So I think we might call it a night for this one. Snuggle him down and then see what he's like tomorrow. But yeah. That was a scary time. Yeah, I didn't like that. No. He's, he's not allowed to do that again. No. And on this walk, he's got the first thing he does is start sniffing grass, and it's just like, mate, that's not happening, pal. No, I'm thinking about getting a muzzle for him so he doesn't do. Well, that's what they recommended in the practice, just to try yeah. and get him out of. Because I said he's been eating a lot of grass lately, because I've been letting him. Mm. Um, so not anymore. So no, got to stop doing that. And if a muzzle just puts him off doing it, then then hopefully that'll that'll be the thing. But yeah. we'll see how it goes anyway. We'll see if he responds nicely to just being gently tugged away from it all yeah bless him yeah cuddles required yeah you all right Coopy? coops is that tea? are you going to get your tea are you hungry no you're a bit tired bud all right now
Morning, Goopy. How are you doing this morning? Back to normal? You're looking better, buddy. Oh, you scared us yesterday, pal. You did. And my mummy and daddy very scared. Yeah. Oh. Do you want to go and get your breakfast? Oh. Look, get back. Come on, Come on, then. Come on, then. Oh, <laughs> Still stops there. Oh, breakfast the Cooper. Come on then. Oh. Get that big booty. Oh, he's such a good boy. Come you on. Get it. Look get it. Come on then. Come on, get it. Oh, good boy. <sighs> well, it looks like the rain stopped for a little bit, so I'm going to make the most of it and take a Coopy out for a walk. <laughs> So why do we think he's back to normal and recovered? Well, because he's been his little knob herself. And not eating his breakfast, he's been sassy. He's mummy, ain't you? You've been sassy boy. Are you being a sassy boy? Halfway through his breakfast and just decided, listen, oh thanks, there's noises outside, so I'm just gonna uh, have a bit of a sniff around and then, oh yeah, I've changed my mind and, oh, breakfast, no thanks. And then under my leg, because he's, had, he's always had this thing, hasn't he, doing this? Yeah. Oh, Cooper. Yeah, he did scare the hell out of us yesterday, but as you've seen, he's back to normal this morning. <laughs> Proper knobber again. <laughs> oh dear, it's so nice to see him um, back to normal because that um, did take a while for the sedation to yeah. wear off, didn't it? So Probably a good four or five hours, mm. even though it was only a mild sedation as well. But Yeah. Yeah, as far as how the hell that blade of grass got up his nose, all that we can really think is that he was maybe chewing on grass because he does, he thinks he's a cow. Um, maybe he had a blade of grass or the, that bit of grass in his mouth or something and then... See, I think, gave him a biscuit. Yeah. Um, and, and when I gave him a biscuit, after, at the end of it, he went... <coughs> yeah, like he choked as on it. As if he'd eaten his biscuit too quick, because he normally doesn't chew yeah. properly either, does he? So I'm wondering if that coffin has sent a... A blade of grass that he was already dead in his mouth, the up wrong his way nose, up, yeah. rather than him sniffing it down his nose. Yeah, it's gone the other way. So that's what we think anyway, because obviously we can't explain the actions of a knobber any more the other yeah. way, really. Yeah, I think I just but, need to stop him from yeah. eating grass. But hopefully, that's um, four hundred and seventeen quid, well spent. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he had a good night's sleep and he's woke up this morning he's been all right been out for a walk and he's been fine mm. um so i'm just going to keep an eye on him but one thing i do want to say is for everybody who said um you know they were thinking about him and hope he's well and all everything on instagram on instagram yeah thank you yeah, so much we've had so, so many messages it's been um absolutely wonderful so yeah. thank you all for loving as much as we do yeah um and yes um we have got new t-shirts and strangely enough we were in Reading to get the badass wheels and tyres sorted out. We were, weren't we? No. So, nice. Yeah. Uh, these will be on the website in a couple of weeks. I'm just um, tweaking the design ever so much. Yep. So we're trying to make our uh, merch a little bit more affordable by maybe dropping the um, embroidery. Embroidery or having the option if yeah. we can to. So we uh, might have it so that when you actually buy the merch, you can choose to have it. Um, with the embroidery or not or double-sided so there's a back and a front text or anything like that just so it's a bit yeah, cheaper just trying to work it out because we don't want to compromise on quality no um but then um we we'd... just need to find a way to get it a little bit cheaper for you yeah guys. a little bit more affordable right then onwards onwards quick stop off at morrison's on the way to find our next park up and see what we can find for the day and John got so excited because there was uh, a car wash, if, if that's the, the noise you can hear in the background. I think he's just stopped, like with the lancey thingies. I know, I know what he's on about. Um, so he got so excited because the van has been filthy because of all the rain and the puddles and the mud. And, and yeah, it's been quite ridiculous. So um, I got to have a lovely slow shop. And, oh, it's there now. <laughs> 
washing the van in merch, eh? What are you gonna do? But yeah, I've got, I got to have a lovely slow merch. Might have bought myself a lovely linen tunic dress on the way out in the sale for £7.50. I mean, you're not gonna say no, are you? I think that's as far as the land's reaches. <laughs> He's like, already had to spin it round once. And, uh, oh, you can't see him. Mr. Coopy's hiding, oh, there we are. Hiding on the bed. Hi, buddy. I'm not impressed. Nice. So it's confirmed he washes the van in merch as well, it seems. Good morning, and um, yeah, welcome to Wales. It's not the same weather we arrived in Wales yesterday, which is a bit mm, miffed, really, because it was lovely weather. It was like two minutes into Wales, and the weather was amazing yesterday. But overnight, um, I think our weather that's been following us everywhere, as uh, <laughs> in the blinking wind and rain, uh, yeah, it's found us, and um, as you can see, there. So there you go then. Um, but yeah, it's, this is park up number five or six. We are just not having any luck with like our primary park up or our backup park up or anything like that. Um, barriers, gates. Um, whoof, one of them yesterday was the, the road that sat nav decided to take because on was only two meters wide and the van's 2.3 meters wide. So yeah, that was a bit of a uh, stumbling point. Uh, but there we go. So today, off to see my parents, um, and then hopefully, if the weather's all right, um, we'll have a little scooch around uh, Glandidno, um, I don't know, maybe Conway as well, walk around the castle and stuff like that, see what the weather's like. Hope you can hear us. A bit windy. It's a little bit windy. Aye. We're in Clandidno. 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 Mm. I didn't know that. I did know. Uh, it's a lovely day, as you can see. And then, as but, you can see. <laughs> yeah, as you can see. As you can see. <laughs> but it's chuffing windy. Oh, it is. It to is. use a nice Yorkshire expression in Wales. <laughs> All the things, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. So we're going to have a nice walk along the promenade. And then no doubt find some amusement for someone. 
I don't know why you might think that there's something like that over here on that pier over there. <laughs> and then, yeah, there's a pier over there as well. <laughs> he just appeared from nowhere. Oh, <laughs> dear me. Oh, dear. So, yeah, after the last few days... Oh, it's poo time for Cooper. So, after the last few days of um, really, really, really naff weather... And last night was quite naff weather as well. It's very nice now not to have naff weather. And Mandy's on poo drop duty. Because that's what's Cooper's favourite job, really, to walk on a promenade and have a uh, quick poo. Nice. Well, I suppose it's better than snorting grass and costing us 420 quid. Yep, I reckon so. <laughs> <laughs> Although a lot of people did say, well, it's about going right for grass these days. <laughs> Yeah, what is it? Um, Cooper should know by now, you smoke the grass, not snort it. <laughs> <laughs> Have a nice time in your movements. I did. And it's you have all my favourite ones in there. Did it? It was a bit busy, so it wasn't the possibility of going in and filming or anything, was it? No, there? and there was no dogs in there anyway, no. so, uh, well, John was waiting outside, I wasn't waiting outside. But um, yeah, lovely day so far. I'm going to try and find some ice cream now. Oh, I bet my ice cream would be lovely. Nom, nom, nom. In true John and Mandy fashion, not only did we not um, film the ice cream yesterday and <laughs> plan did know. <laughs> Um, we also um, didn't film much else after that either. No. Kind of got a bit focused on what we were doing next, didn't we? Yes, so. we did. So uh, we're now at Willow Fields Yay! in Haxi. And um, yeah, we're going to be here for um, Johnny's birthday weekend this weekend. Steam train's running. <laughs> so yeah, this is our uh, last couple of days here, isn't it? A bit of a party. Sort out the van and then yeah. we're at the show. Oh, but everyone can't wait. It's going to be amazing. I think they've still got um, tickets for camping, so I'll still leave the link down below. And it's the International Camper Van Show and the Overland Show at Stratford Upon Avon. Yep, and it's going to be uh, it's going to be really good. There should be loads of things, everything that knows the camper people need, because everyone likes looking around everybody else's oh, yeah. van. So I can't wait just to go and have a re good nosy and have a chat with people. And yeah. loads of people have said that they're going to uh, come and say hi. So yep. come and so say hi. Pick up a sticker. Yep, that kind yep. Of stuff. we bought more specially. We have, <laughs> just arrived today. <laughs> Aye, so yeah, so we can't wait for the show, it's going to be amazing. And then um, if you can hear us over the steam train, that's... Uh... <laughs> Look at him, it's like, uh, Mum, could you just uh, please throw it for me? Really? Oh, really? Hey, hey, off the first bounce. That's so yeah, if you're going there, we'll see you there. If you're not, we might do a little bit of the filming. Before it gets a bit crazy and loads of people around us to see what it's about but the uh the battery's going now so we're getting a bit of a warning on that <laughs> so we'll leave it there call yourself a youtuber i do yeah, yeah. okay infrequently <laughs> oh we hope you guys have all had a really good week yep. and that the weather's starting to improve wherever oh, you yes. are as well because it's so nice to have the sunshine instead really of rain is. all the time yeah and um if those of you will see at the show yep. and everybody else we shall we'll see you see soon you soon yeah, yeah on the video next weekend on the video next and they yeah. said see you sunday but we can't say can't that say see in a bit that's that so uh, so see you we, next week yeah see you next week <laughs> bye, bye.